Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Thursday Sports Page. We start tonight with soccer. The United States women's national team won their third World Cup championship earlier this month with a 5-2 victory over Japan. National team members Allie Krieger and Ashlyn Harris both play professionally for the Washington Spirit of the NWSL. I was out in Rockville today and talked to them about their huge victory. <laughs> it was so exciting. I mean, it was an incredible feeling. I, I can't really put my emotions into words at that at that point because I just kind of broke down. I was super, um, I think I just had nothing left to give. I was drained I, uh, mentally and physically, and I think that's good at the end of a tournament to just, you know, have given everything that I had. And um, also just the buildup of, of my entire life and the training and everything put into that one tournament and that one game. It's just something you work your whole life for. Uh, all the sacrifice, all the dedication, you know, everything that you you put into makes it worth it when you win, right? And um, we're so happy and we're enjoying this ride right now. You guys kind of started the tournament slow, but kind of picked things up. Talk mm -hmm. about the progression going through the tournament. You know, obviously, you know, we had some really tough games in our group, and I think that that was an advantage for us, you know, going into the next rounds because we were prepared. We could work on maybe the little mistakes that we were making against these good teams, and that, you know, gave us an advantage to, to play, you know, in the group of 16. You had a big assist on the goal in Columbia. Just talk about yeah. that play. <laughs> Alex made this like deep, um, you know, withdrawn type of run, um, you know, onside position. And I just looked up real quick before I, I received the pass and I just saw that there was like a bit of an opening. Slipped it between the two defenders, tried just to get it, the ball forward. And um, because, you know, if she's in the box, then you, you know you're going to have a quality shot on target at least. And if not, um, you know, one of the best goal scorers in the world to finish it. Talk about the play of the back line during the World Cup. You guys were unbelievable. Um, thank you. It, it, you know, it was a collective group. Obviously, we call it the back five. And, um, you know, everyone's just naming us the Secretary of Defense and all, this, all these things. But, you know, the, the quality of our team defending was really what helped. We just, we just are doing our job. And, and it's to protect, you know, the goal and protect our team from getting any goals against. Our back line was our answer for most of that tournament. Uh, we said from the beginning um, how we defend is directly relates to how we attack and I mean they came up huge for us so that was such a great feeling and, and they of course make the goalkeeper's job easy and, and that's their job to make us look good. What's going through your mind when you see that barrage against Japan in the first 15 minutes of that game? <laughs> just pure excitement, pure joy and I was just so shocked honestly. I You know that never happens in a final, that never happens or that rarely happens in a game in general or in a friendly. I mean this is, this is the World Cup final and you don't expect to be up three or four nothing in the first 16, 20 minutes of a game, especially Carly just taking control and scoring a hat trick in the first 16 minutes. The biggest thrill was just the excitement the first 15 minutes of that final game. I mean, I was just so happy and everyone, it just was such a good feeling. Everything was coming together. Everything was just right. And that doesn't happen all the time. Um, so that feeling, I'll never forget. A big congratulations once again to Allie Krieger and Ashlyn Harris and the entire United States Women's World Cup team. Both players will be in the lineup this weekend as a spirit host, the Chicago Red Stars. 